welcome to my channel guys this is your love reading for the week of may 10th through the 16th scorpio sun moon rising and venus all right guys here we go as with all of my readings i do answer a yes or no question at the very end so throughout the reading try to think of a question that you might have and i can answer that for you it'll be the very last thing that we do also there is an entire month of may love reading posted already check that out if you haven't there's also singles reading posted for the whole month of may check that out if you are single and there is a general if you are looking for things other than love that is posted as well all right here we go scorpio here we go Ooh, first card out the ten of swords what is wrong guys what is wrong nine of wands i will show these to you again once i get them all out and the empress well that's cool and the sun, nice. King of Wands. And the Fool, lots of uh, fairies here. Okay, let's start here, guys. So this particular spread, the overall energy is always the energy that pertains to the person I'm reading for, would be you, okay? Everything else here is interchangeable, can be for you or the person that you're dealing with, all right? So you are coming in as a Ten of Swords. So why are you so hurt, Scorpio? What's wrong? This is feeling hurt. It's feeling betrayed. It's just kind of like crushed kind of energy here. Um, now it is the end of that hurt. It is on the verge of getting better, but yeah, that sucks. Let's see why. Because the rest of the reading looks good. So I don't know why you would be in that state. We'll find out though, what is this Ten of Swords for Scorpio? The Eight of Wands reversed. That's jealousy. Did something happen here? It's also a lot of um, internet communication, but not in a good way. So it's like, you know, um, it can be, did you find some kind of internet communication from somebody that you're with? like? Was somebody online talking to somebody they should have been talking to? It could be that. Otherwise, it's just you guys are having real communication issues with somebody that you're dealing with. Um, if you were trying to travel to see someone, that's probably delayed and maybe that's where the hurt is coming from. But um, I don't know, guys. There's some jealousy there. There's some lack of passion. But it's also an energy of like the extreme the other way, like somebody being like promiscuous. The two of coins, Capricorn. Maybe some, somebody was juggling two different people here. Maybe somebody just has too many responsibilities and is causing them to be like way out of energy and, you know, just feeling like trash. The Knight of Cups reversed. You could have found out that somebody somebody was like kind of flirting with somebody else online. The Knight of Cups reversed is real. It's player energy. It's the kind of person who's flirty, romantic, but it's not genuine. They're that way with everybody. So that might have been something that you found out here. Or it might be just that somebody kind of took back their offer. Maybe they weren't feeling the way that they said they were. Um, maybe you weren't. Maybe you just decided, you know what, I don't really have feelings for this person after all. Um, could be something like that. I'm going to move on to the reading, though, because the rest of it does look good, all right? Recent past, you have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is perseverance. This is somebody still working on something that is really trying, really difficult. It's wounded warrior energy, but it's still putting in the work, even though it's exhausting as hell. Um, now, in your present, you've got the Empress here, Libra Taurus energy. So this is growth. Something is growing here. This is divine feminine energy. Ladies, this could obviously can indicate a pregnancy with the sun on the other side of it, right? That can be a literal sun. Um, but anyway, it is growth. It's expansion. It's planting the seeds. It's something is growing here. And I know that you're in this shit place and I don't know why for real, but it is all about growth. It's divine feminine energy. What is this Empress for Scorpio? The Magician. Wow. Okay. You guys are in full on manifestation mode with the Magician and the Empress here. Um, it's fertility. It's growth expansion. I know I've said all that before, but 
whatever you're trying to do here, know that like you have everything that you need to accomplish it with the magician. The Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. Are you manifesting this soulmate relationship into your life? Somebody could be really in their divine feminine power here, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with and really trying to manifest like this really balanced soulmate connection. Like I said, when I say soulmate connection though, guys, don't get too carried away with that. I believe that we have countless soulmates. Um, but yeah, somebody is definitely either in one here or really trying to manifest that. It's cancer energy too. In the future, you have the sun. So that's ultimate happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. And that is coming in your future. So whatever you're going through right now, it's only going to get better. Promise. All right. What is the sun energy here? For Scorpio, what is the sun energy for Scorpio? The page of wands reverse. So that's cutting off communication with somebody. Cutting off communication with somebody that's that's really immature and probably only talk to you for sex reasons um, is gonna allow you to have your clarity, to find your happiness. Get another one here. The magician again. Oh my gosh, you guys, you've got the magician here twice. If you guys are not heavily manifesting right now, you definitely should be. Let's get one on this magician in the future. What is this magician in the future? For Scorpio. The Three of Pentacles. All right, so that's all about teamwork. It's partnership. It's being able to work together and to build together. And it's also good for money here, so. Um, I know it's a love reading, but it's there, so I have to say it. And the world, beautiful. You guys are leveling up, closing out one cycle to start a whole new one. It is evolving. It's leveling up. Universe is closing something out for you here. And I think what it is, is it's, you're done dealing with people that are just like, you know, fake. They just talk shit. They talk shit, but they like talk like that to everybody. They're probably fucking banging everybody. You know what I mean? And I think you might have found that out and you're just like done with it. Like you're not, you're not in that space anymore. All right. Your potential obstacle, guys, is the king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There might be a fire sign that's a little problematic for you here. Otherwise, it's the need to be confident. Um... It's all about going after what you want, having confidence, self-esteem. It can also be, you know, you might be feeling feeling a little down on yourself as far as like your appearance, your self-image. King of Wands is very image focused, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I don't I don't judge people if they like how they look. I definitely am that kind of person, so whatever. <laughs> all right. Um so it might just be you just needing to get your, your motivation back, your drive back, and go after what it is that you want and have the confidence to know that you're going to get it. King of Wands gets what he wants, not in an arrogant way. And he doesn't do anything he doesn't want to do. So I think that you just might need to take on some more of that energy. All right. Let's get one on that, though. Why is this King of Wands here as an obstacle for Scorpio? The Ten of Wands reverse. Maybe you need to release a fire sign. Um, otherwise, it's because you've got a lot of responsibilities, right? You have a lot going on. You might have been in a connection where all the responsibilities were on you. Or it was just really, really heavy, really draining. And that really knocked down your energy level, your motivation, your self-esteem, whatever. So it's just kind of clearing that out, releasing what isn't yours to carry, and make sure that you're practicing healthy boundaries, guys. All right, your advice is the full Aries energy. This is the energy of starting something new, right? You ended here with the world. Remember, this is the very last card here, it's the world. You're ending a cycle here, starting a brand new one. This is exactly the direction that you wanna go. Okay, the world ends a cycle in your life. The full starts a new one. It's the first card in the tarot. It's the beginning of a whole new journey. So this is your advice card. It's all about taking a chance on something, taking a risk. All right, know that you're in this 
this new space in your love life. Um, and this is, it's good energy. It's like, it's okay to go for this. It's okay to take a risk here. Even if you don't know how it's going to play out, I'm telling you, it looks good. <laughs> so FYI, get one on this full for Scorpio. Justice reverse. You might be leaving a karmic connection. All right. Justice reverse is about inequality, unfairness. Um, obviously that's an issue here for something that you're currently dealing with or were in the past and you've kind of gotten to this place where you're just not gonna anymore. All right. You're not going to be in any unbalanced connections anymore. Um, it can also be a divorce here. Like somebody could be getting an actual divorce and just jumping right into something or, you know, up and leaving the freaking country or something like that. Um, but it's definitely, it's definitely about leaving things in the past that aren't, that aren't a match for you energetically. Um, like if it's draining you, then it's not an energetic match for you. Okay. It should not be like that. All right. All right. Let's get your yes or no question, Scorpio. Take a deep breath. Focus on your question. Okay, here we go. Yes or no for my Scorpio friends. Yes or no for my Scorpio friends. That's a no with the nine of swords. I hope you guys wanted it to be. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Take care. I will talk to you tomorrow with your next reading.